talking about trombone and I'm gonna see how quickly we can get through this real quick. So we're gonna be talking about our B flat scale. First thing is getting a good solid buzz. So do that off the mouthpiece. Basically we wanna push air past our lips so we get a And then to make it faster, higher pitched, we're gonna pull back at the corners. I get this nice downfold that shows. And that's gonna give us a higher pitch. So on a mouthpiece, it'll sound like Right? And taking that separate, just going is a good practice just to get your face sort of warmed up for this instrument. Click that in there. Next is holding the trombone. I often see people kind of grab it awkwardly like this and they don't know where, how, where to put their hands. So if you make the letter L with your left hand and we bring that pointer finger across the top bracket and then our thumb has a place to fall and our bottom three fingers have a place to fall. And then we have a nice solid grip on our trombone, right? And then our right hand is gonna make a little two finger pinch and hold onto the slide that is movable, right? And we don't wanna just get used to unlatching that guy and letting it fall. We would like to latch it when we're not using it and when it's gonna be time to play unlatch and then always have our right hand on the instrument for support because otherwise, if we don't have it latched when we're sitting like this, I could let go of this left hand and it's gonna fall like that, right? And that's how we end up with, you will see trombones with countless dents in the bottom from that kind of stuff. So now we're gonna talk real quick about slide positions. First position being that it's closed, right? Third position is where our handle of our moving, movable slide, right, meets up with the bell. So if I have first and I have third, that means second is between those two, okay? If I have third at the bell where my bar lines up with the bell, fourth position is usually, if your trombone is gold like mine, you can see I have about two inches of sort of extra pipe past that handle. If I scoot that out so that those will now line up with my bell, See that point of view that's usually fourth position fifth position comes out about two inches past that and it's not an exact science right now and then when i get to sixth position i end up doing a whole arm that's my sixth position once on a blue moon i'm asked to play seventh and i use the tippy tips of my fingers to make it out that far but generally speaking we stay in positions one through six and six being a full extended arm and i have short arms so like that's your sixth position right it's one whole arm um now let's get into actually Playing some sounds on this. So the first note we need for our B flat scale is a B flat. And that's first position. It's gonna sound like this. From there we're gonna go all the way out to sixth position to play C. Right? So it's B flat and C. And then we're gonna to want to go to D. So to play D, I'm actually using fourth position, right? Then E is third position, and I notice I kick my little fingertips out. I like to always make sure when I get to third position that I lined up that slider with my bell. So if I play my first four, I'm gonna have. Right, and then my fifth note is the letter F, which is first position, and we're gonna have to use faster air to get it to come out differently than our B flat. So if our B flat sounds like, our F is gonna sound like, and a good practice is to toggle between those two notes. So, and I actually toggled up to the extra high B flat, of a B flat F, and another B flat, because those are all first position. But it's me speeding up my air to move it. It also helps me to visualize where that goes in my mouthpiece. So I picture my low B flat, my air at the bottom, my F, my air is right in the middle, and my high B flat, my air upward that could be a myth but it works in my brain so if it helps you then great um it's cool so i'll do those first five notes right b flat c d e flat f right our next note is g which is fourth position using that faster air our seventh note now yeah i have to be able to count for a second there is a and A is going to be second position, right? So between the bell and first position, and that's going to use fast air as well, right? And our last note is a high B flat, which is first position, just like low B flat and F, using the fastest air we've had so far. I'm now going to walk up and down the scale real quick. Oh. Uh -huh. 